For every athlete that makes it to the Olympic Games, their dream, dream has taken years of preparation and practice. Just a few months ago, one athlete was in Sochi, Russia, representing Canada and Prince George. Megan Tandy first put on skis at Otway at the age of two. Now she's Megan Heineke, married and living in Germany with her husband and three-year-old son. For the first time since 2010, she's made the trip home. People aren't going to talk to you if you don't talk back. It was a long flight from Germany to Prince George, but this reunion is worth it. It's so good. It's been far too long since I've made it back home. I've been to Canada quite a few times in the last years, but always for races or competition, it was always my family driving to see me, so I feel like it was long overdue. She just pushed herself over the hill. Until now, Megan Heineke has been in full-on training mode. At the Winter Olympics in Sochi, she had some highs and lows. Heineke had to drop out of the biathlon pursuit after an equipment malfunction. But in the women's relay, she could taste victory with a fourth place finish. The other three of us were standing there in the finish box, just like almost afraid to move. Just like, is this happening? Is this happening? But it was pretty incredible to, you know, to have that rush and to be so close. There have been challenges, being away from her family, balancing parenthood and training, and then there's finances. Heineke says individuals and businesses really came through for her. Emotionally, financially, there's this, this huge wave of support coming behind me, not just from Canada, but also from PG, and that was incredible, and it also absolutely made a difference. So huge thank you goes out to everyone who's kind of been part of this journey. It isn't over. After two Olympics, Heineke still loves what she does. Right now I'm feeling really good. I've decided that I'm going to go another four years. I absolutely want to be there at the Olympics in Pyeongchang in 2018. But right now, Heineke is spending time catching up with family and friends. Her son Prado is loving Prince George. He's loving being in the shop and we've taken him fishing and we've done all those Prince George things that uh, we like to do. He caught his first fish the other day. Megan's mom thinks back to when her daughter chose this path. When she was 12 years old and we, she was the little girl that played with Barbie dolls and things like that, and she said, I want to do biathlon. And we, we just see she skied since she was two or three. But we went, oh. <laughs> she started at Otway and now she's back. This week, Heineke has been training there. She says it's fantastic the city now has a world-class facility. She was the only athlete from Prince George to compete in the Sochi Olympics. It's a little overwhelming sometimes. I mean, you, this Olympics, we sat in our basement chewing our fingernails off as we walked, tried to catch the news flicks and stuff like that. And Vancouver 2010, you sort of had to pinch yourself a little bit to say, we're really watching this happen. Even though she lives far away and travels the world. Prince George, this is my home. I am a Prince George girl. And this winter in particular, I almost don't have words to express how thankful I am for the amount of support that's come from Prince George.